of that, you know, you've now obviously switched to the other side, which is now working as a, a senior advisor with the Bruce Wilson and Company. So you now have the opportunity to go into other family-owned type businesses and, and be able to consult with them. Now, what are some of the the lessons learned that you know you you bring to the table with those types of companies again to help them through that type of transition, whether it be for an exit or just with be going to that that day-to-day type operation of the company? You know, I think most of them have gotten the day-to-day down pretty good. They've figured out how to work with each other. Um, there's a couple exceptions to that, but generally I think if if that's not working, someone leaves. They, they don't stay in the position. Um, I think one of the most interesting things that I see is when, when there's transitioning, you know, when when uh, the father wants to leave and retire, um, when the son wants to take it over, but maybe the dad isn't ready to, to leave and take have it taken over. And I think it's really important to realize that it's not just a financial transition. Um, and, you know, you have to look at the family and uh, manage and navigate all the, the feelings and the emotions around all the stakeholders. That could be siblings that aren't in the business. That could be siblings that have minor roles in the business. Um, you know, who is the, who's going to be the, the leader of the company once, you know, that, that exit generation leaves? Um, and, and those are, you know, some, some more touchy, feely, soft issues that are, are just as important. You know, they, they really help with the culture of the company and what's going on. Um, and I, I think I've seen the most success when there's actually a lot of planning around that and, and communication more than anything. Um, you know, I, I've had companies where I know of companies that are very successful, very high profit companies. Um, there are sons in the business or a son in the business. And when they go to transition and they're thinking, you know, they talk to the management team, which, you know, or the, the next layer of management that might be ready for the transition. They all say, well, I really don't want to be an owner. I'm really happy being an employee, but no, they don't want that commitment or that uh, hassle, as they put it, of being an owner. And all of a sudden that throws a wrench into the whole transition planning because dad thought I was going to pass it on down to my only son who's in the business and he doesn't want it. Okay. Right. So, you know, now what do we do? Um, I've seen kids who joined their, their parents in business um, because it was easy or the right, they, they felt an obligation to help them, but it was never a passion of theirs. And, you know, as soon as mom and dad uh, pass or leave the business, they end up selling the business so that they can pursue their own passion. And, and I think the founders have to realize that the legacy they're giving isn't necessarily the business, it's the opportunity that they're giving their children. Right. And don't be so worried about, well, you've got to maintain this landscape company. Well, Maybe not. Maybe they can use the money from that to to found their own passion and do something that they really want to do. Right. So I think that that kind of communication of you know where the stakeholders are at um, is important. I think it's really important to look at you know what the difference between fair and equal is when you have kids that are in the business and kids that aren't in the business, um, and mom and dad's you know the majority of their estate is tied up in the business. And the one who's in it thinks, well, I should get it because I've been in this business running it and growing it. Well, you've also been getting a paycheck while you've been doing that. So, you know, what, what, how does that work out to your siblings who that might be the majority of their inheritance? Um, so there's a lot of different issues that have to really be explored and discussed. And better to do it while mom and dad are still alive uh, than leave it for afterwards, in my thought. Yeah. Yeah. 